Hello everybody, this is Carl out of Manabu Farms, and uh, we're sitting here with Neil. Hi, I'm Neil Anderson, uh, a filmmaker, a uh, student filmmaker at San Francisco State University, and a uh, longtime uh, friend and kind of um, protege of Carl's. Uh, he kept me alive quite a few times when I was uh, a young homeless teenager. Yeah. Long, long time relationship here. And now he's going to return the favor by teaching me how to give you better videos during this documentary. So he's just going to give me a couple pointers and I thought I'd pass them on to you guys on uh, how to give better documentary videos. Alright, if they don't get better, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him the best I can and see what happens. What do you need to know, Carl? Okay, for one, a few minutes ago before we turned on the camera, you were telling me this wonderful story about uh, two cameras and I asked you how to... How do, how do I link up the sound of the two cameras? You gave me a really neat hint. Yeah, um, it, it goes back to um, as soon as uh, sound sync technology uh, in the movies uh, started, um, how do you sync sound to footage is where it started um, so, so that it matches up and you don't get the, uh, the old uh, Bruce Lee movie effect. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Um, and it, it, it's, it's as simple as a clap and uh, you can either hear the clap and you match it up to when the hands touch to that frame and everything past that should in theory uh, match up now there, there can be problems if say you're recording on something and the time is a little bit different than uh, the footage it might slowly get out of sync but you could always just cut and started a new cut and, and start again before it gets too out of sync but when you're working with um, two video sources nowadays modern cameras like the one you're holding right now uh, they sync sound with the picture automatically but if you're using two video cameras and you're s switching between the two you can either keep the sound from whichever camera is getting the best sound and just cut the sound off from the, the, the second video or if you trying to get those two in sync completely so that every one of those cuts when you go from in a multicam shoot from one camera to the next with no overlap or transition or fade or any type of uh, thing like that if you're just a straight cut from one to the other and you're going with the audio as well from say a video one to video two and you you want that sound to go right there you clap you have both cameras pointing at the hands clap and on your your video on your uh, audio track you can either hear or see if it has a waveform monitor the little spike or the sound of the clap and you match both those up on that frame and everything else there should match really closely yeah okay so two camera setups the way to go when, when editing documentary style uh, because something might happen that say if you're close in on somebody you're, you're close up say he's talking or he's holding a chicken the chicken does something cool and you don't catch it you might want to cut to that wider angle but if you're not shooting the wider angle you've lost it so two camera setup is really helpful for any type of editing okay well that so was let's, let's get carl the second camera people <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, just as a quick note, I the two editing softwares I use currently is I use a uh, Windows Live Movie Maker, and then I'm using for sound when I want to edit it in some music or something like that. I'm using a program called Audacity. Both of these are free. Windows Movie Maker comes with most of your computers already, um, so you can download the other one really cheaply and really easy. Uh, I think that's about it for this video. Sure. Yeah. All right. Maybe we'll, if he has any more questions, I might be able to make him a, a, a video from uh, my house explaining more if he's uh, interested in that. So All right. Send it his way. Sounds great, guys. Remember, guys. grow something. That's right. Grow something. 